Pepsi, you must have heard people talking about Venus being morning star, evening star. What is this morning star and evening star? Venus is a planet. Okay. Uh, they say Venus is morning star in these months, evening star in these months. Venus is not seen in the morning skies in these months, etc. etc. So let us learn okay, what is this morning star and evening star business. Uh, we've talked about elongation. Here's the sun, orbit of Venus. Now I will exaggerate the size of Earth. Let's say Venus is here and uh, let us assume that this is observer position 1. If the Venus is here, from Sun to Venus, we are going clockwise as seen from top. So, Venus is on westerly elongation. This is position 1 of the observer and his rational horizon is at Venus. You know the Earth spins this way. So, what is actually happening is, Venus is rising. Venus is rising and Sun is still below the observer's rational horizon. When the observer comes in this position, position number 2, observer's rational horizon is passing through the Sun and what he is observing is Sun rising. So Venus has risen before Sun, that means we are talking about the morning situation. Venus was seen in the morning. So, while the Venus is on the westerly elongation, Venus is a morning star. Now, let us say Earth has spun a little more and now we are going to witness the setting of Venus and setting of Sun. Now, Venus, since Venus rose before Sun, Venus will set before Sun and since Venus will set before Sun, after sunset, Venus will not be seen and therefore Venus cannot be an evening star. So can we say when the Venus is on the westerly elongation, Venus is a morning star. Let us see what happens when the observer comes here. Position number 3. The observer's rational horizon is passing through Venus and as you know Earth is spinning this way. What is happening is Venus is setting. In position 4 over here, uh, observer's rational horizon passes through the sun and sun is setting. As I said, Venus is already set before the sun, so in the evening, after sunset, Venus will not be visible. So Venus cannot be seen in the evening. Now, we will place the Venus on easterly elongation and see what happens. Now, this is observer's position 1. His rational horizon passes through the sun, earth is spinning this way, so what this observer is observing, witnessing is the sunset. After sunset, naturally it's got dark a little bit and in the dark hours, after the sunset, observer's rational horizon is at Venus and observer in position 2 is witnessing the setting of Venus. So Venus has uh, been seen in the evening after sunset and therefore can we say Venus when in easterly elongation is an evening star. Let us see what happens in the morning. In position number 3, his rational horizon is passing through the sun and Earth, because it is spinning this way, this observer is witnessing the sunrise 
right? After sunrise, naturally, it has become the daylight. So when observer comes in position 4, well after sunrise, the Venus would rise and therefore in the daylight, the Venus will not be seen. So we have seen why the Venus was in easterly elongation, it was evening star. 